Adrian, let me steal you, brother. We have our fella sitting on his butt. He's following us. Okay? We can chop the hands, attack the leg. Okay? Force. So I'm in a double right engagement. I'm on the right side. Here's a double left. Here's a double right. Here's a double outside, double inside. We're going double right. We push the knees down. We're down into headquarters. My right leg is going to unload while I sit on his hip with my right thigh. And then I'm going to swing my right leg over. We're going to drop into the space below his elbows. Okay, and then from there I'm going to spin and just step over right away. Okay, from there we pull him up onto his side and we can start to attack this arm. Okay, now to switch this, I can switch from here or I can sit all the way to the other side. But there's a direct way to switch the leg here. And all I need to do is just lift the head and ride their thigh. So you can switch through that way and finish right there. Okay, so one more time. The, you're down. And we get past, we drop our knee. Boom, over his arm. Pulling him up in the reverse modified mount. Okay. Load your right leg, load your left hand. Shoot the leg through, nice and easy. Boom. Try that window pass. Go easy, give it first. Okay. Headquarters. Wrist control, getting that arm down a bit. Right leg's gonna swing over, land below his elbows. Right leg swing. Do I still pull this? Yeah, I do. And then I go over with my yes. Drop sprawl all the way down. Get under that elbow, that's it. And that's side. it. Uh, nope, you did the right thing. You did it. Oh, no, you need to be under that too. Yeah. Yes. So you'll see, but before you even get this, see where your underhook is? Yep, this will do. In this position here, we won't have, technically, we won't have the underhook. Because he's on his side, his elbows are down. We're here. See this position? Right. So technically, from here, I don't have the underhook yet. But when I attack this, boom, we're going to get the underhook. Okay, so watch out for his frames here. But we're, we're technically here for a split second. And our right arm is just trapping that hip and our right hip trapping this hip. You're gonna land right there. So look at, it's like a false underhook. You're still killing his elbow because you're, you're not on it yet, but you're, you're gonna work under it. That's it, right knee down. Boom, pull him up onto his side. Facing you, throw your right leg over. Well, yeah, it's it right up and tight leg. Pull him right into you. You're in reverse modified belt. You don't even need to put the leg. I'm kind of here like this. I keep that right leg loaded. Because I'm going to switch my hands. My right hand's going to go onto his head. Yeah, stay right where you are. But your left hand, uh, bring your right hand inside. Grab his head, put your left hand on the floor. Now you can switch your left leg. But see where your right leg wants to go? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Set that up square initially. And it's already loaded to do this technical get up position. Now your left leg swings in. And you get the same choke off the opposite side. So we're not having to learn a new triangle choke. Grab that top leg, put your head to the floor. Boom, that's how you're gonna go and try to answer it like that. Quick slippery, you grab that leg, you put that head to that floor and hit that angle on that triangle. Top leg. It depends how in a fight you remember all this. You or is it natural? Over 10,000 times for yeah, sure. That's Absolutely. Cool. That's crazy. Beautiful. All right, Mike, try this out. Windmill pass. Adrian, did you go? 
So let me do that. Let me do that. Oh, tighten that up. Put pressure on them. So, me and Brody were talking about something here. There's uh, a, a goal of finding a root position that you can really start to force a guy's guard into yeah. that you're familiar with and you can pass the move. Right? So, this type of position is very, very common. They're going to the guards and it clears away some of the ropes and you know, it forces them into a guard position. That, and then we got We have a bunch of passes from this position. There it is. Nice. Now, see how you gave him the underhook though, Adrian? Okay. And he can sit up, take you back. Right? There you go. Right leg goes over, trap it tight. Inside grip, switch the hands. Beautiful. Slick. Drive the right knee to the floor, look at that. Wicked lateral angle. Smooth as silk, my brother. Good. Mike, you go down for a second. Adrian, do another one. That was really good, buddy. Do another one. Really good. Nope, you just want the one. Get heavy, put him on his side. Force him onto his side. There you go. That's what makes it easier to pass, right? And particularly if so you have a person who always likes to pass to this side, yeah. like all their knee slices are with their right leg over your right leg, they like to pass to this side. Right. You force them to the right on the left side. <laughs> and when you're walking this way, you follow me. But you're trying to force it and maybe start and, and keep yourself a little more squared and like this way. Move, move your nerve like watch. Go up. I'm gonna force you to sort of the pass on my my left. So go ahead, go around me. Right? See how I'm kind of presenting my front? Yeah. I'm not fully here up the center. I'm presenting my left side. So forcing you to pass from an unfamiliar side, depending on what kind of passer they are. So mo most guys like to pass to their left. They're always passing onto this side. So an idea of guard retention is take away their familiarity and most of their tools. And now here, look, I've screwed up your guard game, right? Right. So think, keep that in mind. But anyhow, let's keep repping, okay? Right? Hey, you're on your, you're on your back. Again, turn one more time. Yep. Adrian, you go. Now watch this, look at this, watch, watch the knees. Put them on to the side. Okay. There you go. There you go, nice. That gives too much space though. So when you land, watch this land on squat. There's minimal space here. Pull this one to the side, let's go over and look. We're dropping right into his belly. Right into his belly, I'm connected. Now to his stomach and his back with my right arm. Okay? We're gonna work our way in from there. If I sit on top of his frames, he's dis I'm disconnected from him. Okay? I can start working for an underhook, but he's doing a good job of walking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna secure ourselves to his stomach. Get right in there and step over that suckers. Okay, and then it doesn't matter if he sits up, we got his bottom arm trapped. And then we're gonna drop his top arm. Is isolated on. Connect yourself to him. That's it. Stay connected. Don't lean on his frames. There you go. Nice. Put that left knee right up on his neck. Yeah, nice and high with that left knee. Pull him on now. Go back. Go back. Pull him on to his side. You're going to go into reverse modified mount. Pull him right up against your stomach. Your right leg goes over. Boom. Reverse modified mount. Very important position. Yes, sir. Nice. Okay. Nice. No, you're good. Yep, you're drive good. your right hand all the way in. So the reason why that's hard is because you're not punching your right leg out. There you go. Punch your right leg. Like you're doing a front kick at these medicine balls. You're front kicking with your right leg. Does that make sense? Because your right leg's free to move. Don't bring your left to your right. Bring your right to your left. 
One leg is anchored, one leg is your anchored leg, one leg is your mobile leg. Okay, Mikey, you starting to get her? Little bits, little idea? pieces, sure. Wanna try this? Right. Let's try it. Sure, yeah, I'll try it. Okay. Okay. One more time, I'll show you. Yep. Get the headquarters by pushing his knees down and get to here. Okay. You got these. Yeah, buddy. Wrist control. Now it's this leg that's gonna don't get them in the head. Okay. Oh, Bring your yeah, leg yeah. over. No, 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 no. Like the helicopter. This is the name of this move. What's this? Watch my leg. Go over like that. I get to this point. And then I slide down his stomach. Okay. Okay, so that's how we're doing that one. Okay? And come in nice and high. So look, I can I can do that way higher. I did it close. But I, I get my leg over quite high and then go down here. Okay? It's only your right leg that moves. You find a way to get that leg to go over. Yeah, yeah buddy. Now sit on your right hip. Face that way. Right hip. There you go. Good. Stay where you are. This arm here. Bring it back here. Just put it behind here. Okay. Now move your legs. Just move this leg. Pull this back. And move your hip in against. Yeah. Not over too far. That's where you're going to land next time. Okay. That makes sense? Yep. You connect your ribs to his belly. Okay. Pin this down with your left hand to the floor. Put your knee by his ear carefully. Come up to your knees. Boom. Good. We'll go. We'll continue from there later. Okay. Okay. Good. guys so force headquarters get a pass out of the deal okay force headquarters get a pass out of the deal okay force headquarters get a pass moving through sequences that we're working short short Come on, all the way back. Look at that. That's what you're really good. They're all three of your Ryan has two. Very, very Short triangle. It's similar to that inverted triangle position. Okay. When you lock it, look at the Achilles. The weird angle. All right, boys, let's roll. Okay? You two guys go ahead and start. You guys don't remember rolling. He's gonna show you some moves. Fall with him. Do your best to stay neutral and stay off the back. Okay. Okay. Use your wrestling a bit. If you don't know how to finish, just try and wrestle up to the top position and get up. Okay. Get up. Okay. Okay. 